Wendy Williams has been diagnosed with aphasia and dementia but she isn't the first Hollywood star to be told she has the same illness in recent years. Wendy Williams has been diagnosed with aphasia and frontotemporal dementia. The TV host is now the second Hollywood star to receive the devastating diagnosis within the last three years as actor Bruce Willis is also battling the disease. After being absent from the limelight for over two years, it was announced earlier this week that the American talk show host, 59, was diagnosed with primary progressive aphasia and frontotemporal dementia. She received the sad news last year after undergoing a battery of medical tests, according to a statement released by her carers. According to Page Six, the statement explained that Wendy underwent an array of tests in 2023 when she began to lose words and act erratically. On a brighter note, they noted that Wendy's diagnosis has allowed her to receive the medical care she requires but admitted it was difficult to decide whether or not to share the news with her devoted fans on her behalf. Frontotemporal dementia is also the same disease that forced the Pulp Fiction star to retire. Bruce announced he has been struggling with aphasia, a language disorder caused by damage in a specific area of the brain that controls language expression and comprehension, in March 2022 and that he needed to retire from acting. A little less than a year later, in February 2023, the Willis family shared that his condition had progressed and they had an official diagnosis of frontotemporal dementia. What is FTD? Frontotemporal dementia is a group of neurodegenerative disorders that occur when nerve cells in the frontal and temporal lobes of the brain are lost according to Johns Hopkins Medicine. The disease can bring on a range of symptoms affecting those who suffer from it behavior, personality, language, and movement. What causes FTD? It's caused by damage to neurons, which are the brain's information carriers, but the underlying reasons for individual cases are often unclear. People with a family history of the disease are more likely to develop it, but a majority of people suffering from FTD have no family history of dementia.